The Me Too movement helped give a voice to those silenced by fear, but even after all that, the justice process stops cold on storage room shelves. More than 20,000 women in Texas are waiting for their rape kits to be tested, which, which means their attackers have not been caught. Cleo Green reports on the new effort to clear the backlog. Well, believe it or not, this is a statewide issue. In fact, today we learned that rape kits were found with mold on them in Austin. I spoke to a survivor, an advocate. She really hopes this campaign can make a change. Lavinia Masters calls it a nightmare. He told me I bet not say anything or he would kill me. At the so, age of 13, she was raped by a stranger who broke into her family's home here in Dallas. And I just screamed bloody murder and I ran upstairs and I was like, mom, mom, mom. They called the police. You know, for years, she thought investigators were tracking down her rapist, but she came to find out her rape kit was never tested and her case reached a statute of limitations. It's just disheartening to know that a human life does not get the justice that they deserve. Masters uh, is now a survivor and to, victim advocate, teaming up with Texas State and, Representative uh, Victoria Neavea to make sure all rape kits are tested. To just have that evidence sitting untested, sometimes for years, is absolutely unacceptable. Avea says cost is the reason why rape kits go untested. She launched legislation to allow people to donate a dollar or more towards the testing of evidence in sexual assault cases when they apply for or renew their driver's license and motor vehicle registration. $34,956. But it's not enough. Former Texas State Senator Wendy Davis is stepping in. You know, she's best known for her pink shoe wearing filibuster of anti-abortion legislation at the state capitol. Davis is now launching Clear the Kits. It's an online crowdfunding initiative. There are many that still have yet to be run through a system that allows us to identify a perpetrator. For Lavinia Masters, it's a small sense of hope for women like her. Cleo Green, Channel 8 News.